You talking to me? Yep. Going great. How are you? Yeah. I'm here because you're violating the fishing rules here. No, I'm not. See you later. Stop harassing me and go away. I already told the cop the other night. He said I can fish here. Just go away. You're embarrassing yourself. Should I show him my fish? Here it is, buddy. <laughs> this is why we're over here. Just uh, doing a little editing for the channel. Welcome back, everybody. Fish Brain Shane here, and I'm doing a much anticipated video that I've been talking about for a while and that people have been asking about for a while. So I'm really glad that you're here. I'm really glad that you're joining us for this, and uh, we're just going to get right into it. I get a ton of comments, a ton of views, and uh, a lot of action on my channel due to the fact that there are so many videos that feature uh, one particular gentleman in a fishing spot calling the police on me and harassing me a whole bunch. His name is Roger. And um, I've been through the ringer with this guy over the years, uh, way before I ever filmed even one episode of Fish Brain Shane, uh, much less one at this spot. So really to go back and to tell you kind of kind of give you the the backstory of this um for a long time i fished at this spot that mikey b actually showed me and he asked me to keep it quiet so i've kept it quiet even to this day i went to this spot for a couple of years and didn't have any trouble with the guy across the way i knew he was i knew he was crabby people had said he was crabby but i had no trouble at all with him and uh I started wanting to fish closer to the bridge or as close as possible to the bridge because there's a uh, fast moving kind of not waterfall, but kind of um, just a, a narrow area where the water goes through and it makes it go nice and fast and it oxygenates the water. And, and there's some deep holes over there and that's where a lot of the nice big fish live. I, uh, I, I would creep closer and I would try to stay um, what I determined to be about 100 feet away from the bridge. And I understand the reason why they have the 100 foot rule. And for those of you that have been asking, the reason why they have the 100 foot rule is because it's a pedestrian walking bridge in a county park. And it is a good fishing spot. So people do fish there and you know they just wanna keep the lures away from the bridge and away from people potentially walking across. Um, you can have your opinion on that, yes or no. I personally respect that, that's fine. But I wanna be able to fish as close as I can to that because that is where the deep holes are. So. Um, I started creeping closer uh, a few years ago and Roger would start to come out and yell at me and harass me. And at first I would just kind of walk away or I would ignore him completely. And then he started calling the police on me. And uh, I was down there by myself. He called the police. This police officer showed up and he, um, I don't remember his name, his badge number. I don't even think he gave it to me. But I was at, at the time that he showed up, I was down by the sign where Roger says it's legal to fish. And I was past that and I was fishing down there and he walked up and immediately I could tell he had an attitude. Um, I was down there fishing and he said, how's it going? And I said, just fine. He said, can you stop that and come up here? And I was like, yeah, I guess I can come up there. Um, so I stopped fishing and I went up there and he's like, so why are you fishing closer than you're supposed to? And I just explained myself like you've seen me doing the videos and um, uh, he just, he would not accept that. In fact, what he said was that the chief of police that very morning uh, of the town that they're in had told him that he knows Roger and that they have to enforce this when Roger calls them. Um, so he said, he's going to be enforcing it. And I said, well, what do you mean you're going to be enforcing it? And he said, well, I'm going to be writing citations. And I said, so what if I'm fishing over there and you come write me a citation? I just say, well, whatever. And I just keep fishing there. And, and you know, and I just kept going back and forth with him. And finally he just said, you know what? If I catch you fishing there, I'm just going to arrest you. And I said, arrest me for fishing. And he just says, yeah. And he, he's like, at that point, he's like, all right, now I need your license and I need your blah, blah, blah. And he takes out his notepad. Like you've seen police officers do. Well, I hand over my license and everything. I, I don't even know if I had to self identify, but at the time, I wouldn't have known and I just handed my license over. I don't have any problems with police. Um, and he checked it all over and took all my information and I never heard a word from him again. So fast forward to Fishbrain Shane, 
which is the channel that you're currently watching, of course. And make sure you go subscribe if you haven't done that and turn on all those notifications. This channel is growing like crazy. Um, in the last couple of weeks, it's up 33% subscribers. Um, I'm up 389% viewership, 389%. On Facebook Reels, I just started about three weeks ago, I'm at 15,000 followers, over 35 million views, and I just got offered a huge bonus from Facebook to continue that momentum, and I'm trying to continue that momentum. So if you can go follow me on Facebook Reels as well and check out all my videos, that would be absolutely fantastic, and I appreciate that. So enough promotion for now, but let's fast forward to that first video. Like I was saying, I knew that I was going there and I was gonna be filming. I knew that Roger was gonna come out and he was gonna yell at me and I was gonna stand my ground. And before I went there, I decided to grab the measuring device because I wanted to be able to prove to the officer what I, and I had stepped this off many times, but I had never measured it, that I figured that first sign that I show in the video is the 100 foot sign. So I get down there and of course Roger comes out and you can check out what happened. I'm gonna bring this tonight and you're gonna see why. Super windy. What's that? The sign said 100 feet from the bridge. I'm over 100 feet. Well, actually that sign's 100 feet. I've measured it. Go ahead. There's two signs that say 100 feet from the bridge. Not to me. So what do I say about the other two signs? What do I do about the other two signs that say 100 feet from the bridge when that's 100 feet, that sign? Just because you had them put that sign in doesn't mean anything to me. You're just harassing fishermen. Admittedly, at this point, I had had enough. Um, I had tried passively, um, not talking to Roger. I had, he had yelled at my kids for fishing there and I had stood up for them when that happened. Um, there just had been so many different types of exchanges. Even his wife had yelled at him for yelling at us and wouldn't let him call the police for a while. And then she jumped back on board with calling the police. So it, it's just crazy. The, the things that have happened since we fished down there have just been nuts. But um, so he called the police and I was ready. I was nervous. My heart was just pounding out of my chest because I had never filmed anything like this before and I wanted to stand my ground and I had never really stood my ground before. And what I was gonna do was I was gonna stand in the spot that I believed to be legal to fish. So I did that and here's what happened. You talking to me? Yep. Going great, how are you? Good. I'm here because you're violating the, the fishing rules here. No, I'm not. You see that sign right there? I see the two by the bridge that say 100 feet from the bridge and I, that sign right there is 100 feet. That sign right there says, that way I'm not. Right, but that's over 200 feet from the bridge. So do I believe the two signs from the county or do I believe that sign that that guy who harasses us had put in? What do you mean he had it put in? He's the one that had that put in. Right. He's the one that petitioned the city council and the county and everybody to put that in. And he's been harassing us for years down here. And I have a measuring device right in my thing, right there that you and I can look at. And there's a sign out there by that bridge and a sign as you start on the trail that, and I'm, I'm trying to be calm, I really am, it, that say 100 feet from the bridge. Okay. So we could walk that off if you'd let's, like. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, I'm game for that if you don't mind. So yeah. Break Not a problem. Then I'll see if the city can move that. That would be great. So when this officer agreed to let me mark it off and go ahead and measure it with him, I couldn't believe it. I, I figured, you know what? I finally got a fair person. He knows he's being videotaped and he's gonna do this the right way. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I even started going, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's more than a, you know, maybe it's a hundred feet to that sign and Roger's been right this whole time and I get out the measuring tool and here's what so happens. So I have this, let's go over there and check it out. Okay. And we'll see if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, man. Yeah. And I apologize if I am. 
I haven't even done this. I just brought it with me just in case because it's been a number of years that he's been saying that stuff. So this is the, I mean, I just go by that sign, so that's what I'm saying. And this is the bridge. So this is one of those deals you can walk and it measures it. See, it's got zeroed out. So let's start from here and go. Oh, there's a hundred. Right. So right at that tree, which is actually right where I'm fishing is a hundred feet. Right. I mean, it's right there. And we've had uh, many conversations with them about yeah. that we pick up the shoreline and that we are always respectful and we don't shine lights at their house. We don't play loud music I'll, I'll or- them. I'll talk to the county too about getting that move because I mean, the last thing I want to do is interrupt people fishing. I appreciate that. So, Thank you. Um, that's very nice. Yeah, I'll chat with the city. I'll chat because I mean, it. obviously that's an issue. If, that's, that sign's not even on. So after all that, we have a great evening of fishing, catch a few more fish. And uh, I know that I've got a video that will probably get some views and it's a brand new channel for me. So it's exciting for me to have a video that'll probably get some views. And it's also more importantly, exciting for me to have stood up for my rights as a fisherman there and been told by the police officer that I was right and that I could fish there. So very very exciting i was i was totally over the moon so within that same week i go back not to get another officer on film but to go fishing because i figure you know what they're not going to come anymore they know that we're doing this right i'm going to go catch some bass and some walleyes like in the first video and um I, I just wanted to get down there and i wanted to have a great time so i go down there and he comes out again and frankly i wasn't really expecting it and I might have overreacted a little bit, but just check it out. Stop harassing me and go away. See you later. Stop harassing me and go away. I already told the cop the other night, he said I can fish here. Just go away. You're embarrassing yourself. Do you hear me? I don't care what you're saying. Goodbye. Goodbye. I already talked to the cop the other night. He came and told you, get out of my face and stop harassing me. You understand? You don't own over here. You own over there. Stay over there and stay to yourself. Back off. I don't care what you're saying. Get away from me. I don't care what you're saying. Stop harassing me or I will call the police on you. I will. I have video of you right here harassing me once again. Just the other night, the cop told me the 100 feet is right here. I have a measuring device right here. Just save your breath. There is no reason for you to treat people like that. That's enough. cost me another dang lure. You do whatever you think you gotta do. Just get away from me. I'm talking about him. I've had enough of him. That is enough. I have this all on camera. I'm recording this whole thing. Get away from me. How many times do you think anybody's ever offered to call the cops on him? So after that, he did call the police. The, uh, the police officer showed up. It was a very nice young lady. Um, and she tried to explain the dealio to me right away. And that's how a lot of you can tell this happened up north because of that accent. But um, a lot of what she was saying didn't make sense. And I certainly stood my ground. Check this out. Hi, sir. I think you spoke with my partner last week. Or... Yeah, hi. How you doing? That's good. So, here's the little dealio that we got going on. So my partner, you guys measured out the... 100 feet, crest. yep, right to this tree that I'm yep. standing past. So Ramsey County, and this is coming from Ramsey County that actually put the signs in, not us. They measure from a different spot. So where they measured from, the sign is correct. Well, that's incorrect because there's two... Well, then 
there's still two signs that say 100 feet. And I've just measured off, I have the thing again, we can walk yeah. it off again, 100 I, feet. I know. Why would they, and they're out here harassing fishermen for no reason. They're, they're, I'm not hurting them. I bring my children it, down here I and know. fish. I'm not loud, I'm not drinking, I don't make fires, I, I don't shine lights at their house. I've been, I've had good interactions with them. He just comes down here and yells at me and I'm tired of it. And tonight I just didn't let him talk. I mean, your partner told me that I could fish right here on camera last week. I have it. it I get that. So I'm, I, that's what I'm so, doing. I, listen to me, okay? You gotta let me talk. So per Ramsey County. Where do, do you have that in writing? I will have to contact Ramsey County. When I see I that in writing, because I have it in writing on those signs, two of them, actually three, and I have this. When I see that in writing, I'm happy to comply with it. If you can prove to me that that's over 100 feet and you have it in writing, I have rights. This is public property. There is no reason for us to get harassed here. I know there isn't. I there know. isn't. And we've, we've been trying to deal with them for quite some time. And it's- So have I for four years. This has been he, four years of this. You know, he constantly calls. I know, and it's ridiculous. Now, after going back and forth for a little bit, I just wanted to get permission for that night from her to fish in the spot that I knew that was legal that the other person from her own department had told me was legal on film. And I was shocked to hear her say these what things. I, do, I, know he I mean, am I able to at least to continue to fish here tonight since I was told that by the other officer so that I can, until you contact me, can I at least do that without having a big blow up here? So that I, you know, I mean. I, I will talk to Roger and see, and I'll try him to keep him calm, okay? Uh, if he starts blowing up, it, it, there's not a whole lot I can do. Okay, it's. But it's, it's up to him if I get no, moved. I'm not. I'm not saying that. Okay, it's you got you got two different things. You got some county saying one thing. We got. But but see, he owns yep. that property. He doesn't own right where we're standing. Trust me, I know. So so if he blows up, if he blows up, why does so that matter? So after that exchange, um, I did give her my information. I wanted to find out, number one, how could the county measure from a different spot than the bridge when there are literally six signs that say 100 feet from the bridge? So where else would you measure from? It's, a, it's craziness that they would say that. And she had no ex explanation for this either. I mean, I asked her about it. And then when I asked her to have somebody contact me and help explain this to me, she agreed to, and it's just nobody's ever contacted me. That's just the way it's been. Um, it's just been crickets from their end. And this is a public park that we are allowed to fish in. I go back there fishing many times. Um, I don't have any problems with Roger again. In fact, I was there this spring and did some sucker fishing and had some success and no issues. And then right after I hit 1000 subscribers, which was a huge milestone on YouTube. And right now I'm creeping up on 5,000 subscribers. But right after I hit 1,000 subscribers, um, I went and I filmed a video at the creek spot. And I wanted to catch some bass and I wanted to catch some walleyes. And I hadn't been there all year. So I go there and <laughs> here's what happens. Huh? Are you that guy? I am. No way. You're the dude who fishes here. I am the dude who fishes here. That's all right. I don't want it. Haven't you ever seen the uh, the video I have here where the cops come and I prove that you can fish here? Yeah. Yeah, the last time I talked to a cop here, she tried to tell me that Ramsey County measures from a different spot than the bridge. Even though the signs say 100 feet from the bridge. Even this one right here. <laughs> and I'm like, well, how can you explain that then? The cops are here. Police. Oh, really? I wonder why. The cops are here for real. Come on. Man, no casts like that should get a fish. Yeah. Like right up against there with a minnow. There we go. No yeah, it looks like one. There's one right there. Got one. I was just saying casts like that should get a fish. And there we go. Nice fish too. Not too bad for this little creek, that's for sure. Come on over here, Bassy. Let's see ya. <laughs> no net today, guys. 
No nut at all. That's a nice little bass for this creek. Why is he just sitting there? Ah, who cares? Let him just sit there. Should I show him my fish? Here it is, buddy. <laughs> this is why we're over here. <laughs> Get as close to the wall as you can. That's the that's the big key. All right, so we got the police right over there. These guys have called the police again, and all these young guys were here fishing, so they must have called them before I came. On these young guys, the the miscreant, mischievous little guys that they are. Look at them. They're fishing. Oh my gosh, what would you want them to do, you know? I mean, like they said, what do they got to put their drugs and alcohol away? I mean, come on, they're down here fishing. They're trying to be good kids. So at any rate, I'm over here catching fish because that's the way I do it, right? <laughs> We're going to put this guy back. Hopefully I'm not going to fall in when I put him back. Get on back in there, fella. Bye. What's up, buddy? How's it going? going good. They're making you come over here and talk to us. <laughs> yeah, you want me to you want me to show you the video I have on YouTube of us marking off where 100 feet really is, or what do you want me to do? <laughs> it's right at that tree, by the way, uh, that stump. Me and one of your one of your other guys. Yesterday, I just read the report. I didn't talk to anybody yesterday. I wasn't oh, here yesterday. Maybe it was a day before. I no, no, I haven't been here this year. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, so Actually, I was sucker fishing here once this year, but I stayed over there because they were actually over there. Yeah. But the fishing's good this way as well. So yeah. All right. Yeah. I did. Somebody talked to Ian a couple days ago and said, you know, the, the hundred feet wasn't where the sign was supposed to be. That's right. Um, so. Did, well, I, oh, oh, that one you mean? Yeah. That's oh yeah, yeah. Right there. Yeah, we actually, I had a walking tape measure. I moved since then. I'm not even joking. I was, I was so mad at my wife. I'm like, where is that thing? Cause I know those guys are probably gonna get upset and we don't make any noise. We don't leave any trash or anything. And these are just kids. I'd, I'd much rather see them doing this. He's got a tape measure right here. So yesterday. it is, this is the guy. Yeah. Okay, all right. So I, was the, I talked to Parks and Rec and they yep. said, bring a tape measure as long as you're within hundred feet of the bridge, uh, you're fine. So I, yesterday I, I fished the whole day. I <laughs> gotcha. Uh, I fished the entire day with the tape measure on the bridge all the way out, and it's like it, right at that, right or yeah, about this tree. Yep, gotcha. there's a hundred foot mark, yep. and so okay. Roger and came over and talked to us, and yeah, and you talked to Officer Craig yesterday. Yeah, uh, longer yep. hair, curly. Long yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you guys kind of figured out what was going on. Yep, and he said as long until that sign's removed or this sign's removed, gotcha. as long as we are within a hundred feet. Feet. We're fine. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> That's pretty fun. While the cop is up there, I'm still fishing. I'm showing him my bass. Did you see that? So um, we're down there, and it's I'm standing there, and there's these kids. I mean, these that's who got the police called on him. And it wasn't even Roger. It was his wife that called the police on these kids. And um, I just was thinking, you know, what... What else could these kids be doing? They could be doing drugs. They could be stealing. They could be doing all kinds of crazy things. And instead, they're out enjoying nature. They're out fishing. They're out having a good time with their friends. And these were good kids, as you can see from the clips I was showing. They were really nice kids. They were they uh, had a lot of fun fishing with me, and they just they were a pleasure to be around. So um, one of the biggest regrets I have from that night is I didn't get an exchange on film because I wasn't filming between me and Roger's wife. And what it was, was she came out and started yelling at them again after the police officer had come, after he had told us where we could fish. And I just stepped in and I just said, hey, um, what would you rather they be doing? Would you rather they be doing drugs or casing your house for a robbery? Or would you rather they be being kids and fishing and having a good time? They're not over here doing drugs. They're not over here starting fires. They're not over here doing anything crazy. They're not cursing. They're not yelling. And you know what? She goes, you know what? You're right. You're absolutely right. And she turned around and she went inside. And I know that's going to be hard to believe because all of you probably think she's a Karen to the max, right? But, you know, there's she's gone back and forth, his wife. She, she sees us pick up the trash. She sees us do the good things over there. She'll yell at Roger for, you know, calling the police off or police on us. And then at some point she just, she'll call herself, I think. I mean, it's just, it's insane. It's like they go back and forth. So, um. You could see this officer as he was walking up, just rolling his eyes. 
And uh, he said at one point that they at the police station had seen the videos, so they knew what was going on. And it was just, he didn't want to be there, and I don't blame him. So it was at this point that I started getting a lot of comments about calling the DNR and about turning in um, uh, Roger for harassment, for fisherman harassment, because you know so many times he had called the police and interrupted our fishing and yelled at us, um, and he had no right to do that. And he knew that he did. I was down there the very next time fishing, and Roger came out and said this. We're within our rights to fish here and you need to stop harassing us. Would you like for me to call the DNR and, and turn you in for harassment? You should, go ahead, feel free. I'll be happy to call the DNR and get you a ticket. Now after he walked away and went to go call the police, I looked up who the DNR agent was in our area and um, I was ready to have that police officer call that DNR agent because I wanted them to come and interpret the laws and make sure that they backed me up as a fisherman, as a licensed fisherman. Um, here's what happened though. Uh, Mikey B showed up and he had actually been up there and talked with Roger. Mike and this out. He's threatened to call the cops. No, he just told me that he did. Did he? <laughs> I actually had a nice conversation with him. Oh, really? He did say, yeah, real, real cordial. He did say he called the cops. I don't think, I don't think he put it together that you and I are the ones that are always down here together. He's like, this guy and his two kids, blah, blah, blah. I got it all on camera, I'll play it for you. Oh my gosh, there's a minnow in this net. Yeah. I don't know. Is this your stuff here? It is. Yeah. yeah. I didn't see your two youngsters when you dropped it off. Yeah, they were uh, sitting in the van. Oh, they were. I was just looking at this minnow that I got stuck in this net. A live one or dead one? No, I was dead. I don't know when when I would have left it in there. How's it going tonight, Roger? Well, it's doing pretty good. I just called the police on three guys fishing illegally over there. Oh, really? What is that, a camera? What were you talking? Yeah. Oh, that's neat. GoPro. So it, we've got a sm just a small YouTube channel and film our adventures with these guys. We go exploring the Mississippi and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. We've been fishing down here for a long time. Well, you know what the rules are. Right? I, I know what the rules are. It's, and it's, it's these three, this guy and his two kids just totally ignore the yeah. rules. You know, we're one of the regulars down here. We do try to clean up the area. That's we, good. we understand that that's what you have to look at. We understand that. Yep. So we do try to keep that shoreline nice. We do try to pick up more than what we come with, of course. And I notice that. All that, so. If there's trash here, the next group picks them up. Yep. Yeah. Well, good luck. Thanks, Roger. Have a good night, I, sir. I don't think you're gonna find any fish out there. It's real shallow. And it's warm. Hot. It's real warm. I think you gotta go up to the, the deeper water. After that, Mikey B and I sat down there for a while and we talked back and forth and we saw the police pull up and, um, Actually, as it, as it got to be more and more, they talked to Roger up there because we could see him talking to him up there. He, Mikey B and I were of the opinion they weren't even going to come over there. They were not going to come and talk to us. And sure enough, they got in the vehicle and they turned around and they left. So I don't know if they're going to stop coming or if they're not going to come because they see that we're filming and they don't want to be on film anymore. Um, I don't know how that's going to go, but I can promise you that this spring I will be back in that spot. Um, because it's a good fishing spot, right? Now I wanna do a quick uh, answering of a lot of questions that I see on Facebook comments and TikTok comments and on my Facebook reels and um, on YouTube, of course. Um, so one of the biggest questions I get is, is the sign still there and does the guy still call? Yes and yes. Um, the sign is still there from what I understand and I haven't been there in a couple of months, but I'm sure it's still there. Um, I'll let you know if it isn't. And does the guy still call? Every experience I've had is that he does. And everybody I've talked to says he does. So, 
Um, another question I get is, did I ever hear from the county? I did not. I didn't hear a thing from the county. Nobody called me. Nobody gave me an update. Um, just crickets, nothing. I think they understand that we're correct and they don't know what to do to shut this guy up, unfortunately. He must have some clout. Um, whatever happened to the owl? The owl in that video. Check this out. We did actually find an owl in one of these videos. So it's my understanding from talking to people after filming and even getting a hold of the Raptor Center that during that time of year, owls are molting and that this may have even been a juvenile. Um, so there's a couple of different scenarios that could have caused this, but they both, or all the people that I talked to said that they feel that um, this owl was just fine. It was acting healthy. It just wasn't able to fly away. So um, let's see. I get, I get some people that ask, why do you fish there? Why don't you just move down the line? Why are you, why are you bothering this old guy? I think I've, I've explained myself pretty well during this video, but I'll just say very succinctly, it's a public park that as a tax paying citizen, I have the right to fish in. I buy my license. I follow the rules and the laws. I do not keep too many fish and I clean up after myself and after other anglers. So the reason why I fish there is because of that right there. There's sometimes giant fish in there, giant walleyes. That's why I fish there, okay? And I don't have to leave because a landowner across the way wants to make my life a living hell and neither do you or anybody else. So, I mean, that's, that's my answer. That's why I fish there. I get the why not call the DNR. I think I've already explained that. I'm, I'm calling the DNR as soon as I can. The next, very next time I'm gonna be calling the DNR. And then um, why not sue? I don't know if you can sue over something like this, man. And I'm not going to be suing this guy. Um, I just want to be able to fish in peace. I just want my kids to not be yelled at. I just want this guy to leave fishermen alone because there's zero reason for him to be bothering us. So there's your update video you've been looking for. And I've been promising you I was going to make. I'm glad that you joined me on this episode of Fish Brain Chain, more of a uh, kind of retrospective, a look back at a few of the videos and an explanation surrounding those videos so that you can better understand what's going on. I hope that you subscribe and I hope that you uh, have turned on those notifications. I work extremely hard on this channel. I've got 150 plus videos and a lot of content out there. And again, go check me out on Facebook Reels, on TikTok, but most importantly, make sure you never miss a video on YouTube because I am just going crazy on YouTube. I'm going to, I'm going to be putting out a lot of stuff. So, um, for me and for Roger and the cops and everybody else, Fish Brain Shane out. Get back to editing.